Crazy Neighbors fans, it's Jessica Carden. And Jeremy Manwaring. With Murdoch Manwaring Company, a real estate group at Keller Williams Realty East Idaho, your nosy neighbors. Neighbors in the know, neighbors Jessica. Neighbors in the know. Well, where are we today, Jeremy? We are at Farrell's Clothing, right here on Hit Road, 25th East. 25th East, 3194. You might know it because we all love Tandoori Oven, Wing Stop. Yep, I mean, it's yep. the location to Across be. the street, we have the Reed's Dairy, That's right, right by Kohl's. Chick-fil-A, right everybody here in the knows thick of the things. corner. Orange Leaf. Thick of things right here. Yeah. And you might recognize this place because we actually were here the weekend. They moved to this location and opened say, it up. I was going to say, this is a new location yep. for the old timers in Idaho Falls. So That's if right. you are a new timer, this will be the only location. But we're going to find out all about Farrell's. That's right. And by the way, if you love local businesses like Farrell's, which is a fourth gener third generation business, it's been here forever. Please like and follow the Nosy Neighbors page and go back and check out some of the local businesses and yeah. frequent them. These are our friends and neighbors. And if you love real estate, like we do, that's right. Head over to the Murdoch Manwaring Company page. It is a crazy time. In yeah. We've been in it a long time yeah. and it is nuts. Prices so, are going up. Things are becoming unaffordable. Yeah. But are they? But are they? We'll tell you in the stats video. That's right. So click on that and watch all about it. Yeah, if you actually would like to get the stats video, which is monthly in your email, go to mmcidaho.com and there's at the top of the page, just click get Subscribe. newsletter. Subscribe. Subscribe. All right. Well, let's get in let's here and let's in. talk to Dana Wright about Ferrells. Ferrells, what do they even do? What are, you know, what is it about? We're going to find out. Let's see if they not get notified. Bing bong. Yep. There Bing we go. bong. It's like that movie, Disney movie. Oh, very nice. There's Dana. Let's go by. Hey there. there he hey, is. Dana. How are you? Good. Good. We gonna be in front of the you, mirror? You could be in front I'm of the like, mirror. I'm like, I don't we need to be move, in front of the mirror. We can move down here <laughs> further. <laughs> we'll yeah. only stand by that mirror if it's a skinny mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you should get in or here. Or it grows your hair back. Oh, one that's of the, one good. Of the yeah. yeah. One of any of them, any of yeah. the things. Well, Dana Wright. We're here to yeah. know about Farrell's. What can you tell us? Well, uh, Farrell's originally started downtown in 19, November of 1950. Holy cow. So, yeah, it's been, it's been around uh, quite a long time. And then, you know, uh, the way that I got into the business was my, my family. So, you know, I married into the business, so my father-in-law. And, and that's kind of how I got uh, associated with Farrell's. So yep. it's been around a while. And we know Brent Tuller, right? Yes. That's your father-in-law. Brent Tuller knows everybody. Yes. He could he could just be in the middle of a crowd and just find somebody and he'll know him or know somebody that's related to him or something. So And your wife uh, yeah. was a Tigerette. She was, very she true. She was at IF in, in the nineties <laughs> with the rest of us. Yeah. So we knew her from high school. Yep. Yep. And really my claim to fame is that uh, I did train Dana. <laughs> he did. And uh, that was about a five minute window there where <laughs> Got a little magic touch, and now look at you. Very it. true, very true. <laughs> yep. We both did a few months. Well, I did a couple months at, at Melaleuca, and I did about ten years at Melaleuca. Ten years, so, yeah. Yeah. And so that that's where we first met. That yeah. was 1995. That was 95. Yes. Amazing. And look, February. You 95. grew eight inches, and I stayed the same. <laughs> right. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm shrinking now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you going to show us the yeah. pictures of the family? Yeah, so how this kind of show you how all this started. All yeah. right. So we did a we did a little memory wall back here just to kind of show people how Farrell started. Oh yeah. So you know, here this is when the building was a bank back in 1905, and it went to right there. So the bank wasn't very large, but it went all the way back that way. Is that the building you just moved out of? Yeah. And so they tore the rest of it down. Yeah, so it looks like this is Penny's. So it was Penny's after it was the bank. Okay. And then what Penny's did is they, they bought the Golden Rule part of it and just expanded, expanded the building to there. So that's when Penny's was there. And then now, you know, you see the library here, and that's where, where that old Farrell's building. Now yeah. they have all the siding and everything tore off of there. And it's brick or something. Yeah, now, isn't yeah, it? kind of this brick. And a lot of people didn't know there was windows up there, but, yeah, there yeah. were, and it was covered up by the siding. Okay. But originally it started with Farrell Anderson. That was Farrell the ori Anderson. original guy. And then his son bought it, Dave Anderson. Okay. And Dave and Dorothy, they, they couldn't have any children, but they adopted this 
young man back in the day who is my father-in-law. He there started he working is. there and did it for forever and then and then we we sort of took over so when you so, say yeah. you married into the business you really did i, I married up <laughs> very much so and so, tanil helps run it tanil does she yeah. she is basically the boss she's in the back doing all the books oh yeah so i i just kind of stand out here and talk to people and then she's the money aspect of it that but, is great but it's it, you know this is back when it was old downtown this is actually a picture of uh, Farrell Anderson and his three sons. So you have Dave, you have Dick, and you have Lauren. And Lauren actually had a clothing store down there too. Oh, really? But they combined them all into that one Farrell's building. Okay. And then a lot of people remember Tom. You know, Tom's been there forever. And so, yeah, and this is a little picture of the Brent's kids when they used to do advertising. So. How funny. That is really a family deal. So, yeah, I just, I kind of cut out some of the old tubing and some of the old cash register system that they used back in the day. Um, apparently, uh, Mr. J.C. Penney didn't like cash on the floor. Oh, my heck. So, so that's like a bank thing? Like yeah, a yeah, it's the old tubes, just okay. like you would use when yeah. you drive up. So it was inside the building look at that so but you know you'd have See a little tube yeah you'd have a little you'd have places all throughout the store and they'd put change in these right okay that's another money and then Holy they would cow. they would stick them in there and it'd suck it up right and there was a bit right here there were three ladies that sat and did change all day long oh and then they'd send it back so down sweet. so you really should yeah. put that in this new store yeah well <laughs> My wife would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep, keep an eye on the money. Yeah. Yeah. So. And now so you've got the next generation going. We've got the next generation going. It, it's still very much family owned and, and ran. Um, that's my son right there, Skyler, that, that helps out. And then little Brent Tuller, we call him little, little because, but he's not little, he's this tall, but he's <laughs> Brent Jr. And that's Todd's son. Okay. And then Ty Tuller works here. Holy cow. And then my son, my youngest son worked here for a little while, and then he got to Neil, and then Nathan LaPre, who's a, another shirt tail relative. So, yeah. Oh, wow. We, we got a lot of family involved still. So. Well, that is awesome. What do, you, uh, what do you do when people walk in the door and don't know how to start? How to start. Um, so um, it's kind of about our why. Um, and I was thinking about that over, over the past couple of days, and I, I came up with this terminology called... We're basically a special event clothing coordinator for guys, because guys have no idea. They, oh, yeah. they really don't. And uh, the ones that do, you know, they come in, they can be out of here in, in 15, 20 minutes if they really know, you know, their sizes and everything. But we go from, you know, eight-year-old boys all the way up to 80-year-old men. So, but there's, uh, you know, the, the guys, they, they really know what they're doing. They know, they know how to structure sizing. And, and that's the other thing. Sizing changes over time. When I first started in this business, you know, you were wearing three-button suits with double-pleated pants and, oh, yeah. and, and double-breasted suits. And mm -hmm. now you're all to this, you know, trimmer, skinnier look. But we, mm -hmm. we do both. We do the skinny, and then we also do, you know, the more classic cuts. So... But it's it's fun. It's a challenge, but it's fun. Yeah. These these guys make it a sort of a game trying to figure out how to. How You're to, talking how about your guys you. that are helping yeah. sell the stuff. Yeah. So yep. I could walk in the door and say, "Hey, I got this coming up," and they will help me figure out what to match with what. Yep. Oh, All that man. kind of stuff. So if, can a, you show that? Walk Jeremy through it. Okay. How does it work? Yeah. Hey, so, I, I would love to see. So let's let's just take for instance. I'll I'll grab our most popular color suit right now. Is it this red one? It is not the red one, unfortunately, <laughs> but it is powder blue. So that color right there is that probably is the our, one, our huh? most popular selling color. And, I and like number that. two, <laughs> number two is going to be light gray. So and that would be this one. So and I think it's a it's a combination of things. Hmm. Um, when I mean special event clothing coordinator, we do baptisms. We do weddings we do job um, job yeah, promotions or interviews we do right now you've caught us in the middle of april which is all prom season oh yeah and then yes we do a whole bunch of missionaries but i've also done you know clergymen and and, and state representatives and and everybody that needs this type of attire mm -hmm. so 
And you some, don't rent them. No, we are not a rent. We yeah, are. So we don't are come just in here a, and try to rent something. Yeah, but yeah. Your prices are pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. We do. We do a lot of buy one get one free on suits and shirts and slacks and ties. So, so yeah. We we start off with a suit. Right. We just kind of find you your there. size. You can just lay it there okay. on the tip. That's why we have these here. Oh, so you can lay them we're, out. We're going yeah. through the deal. And then you can actually, you know, lay out a shirt on there and lay some ties on there and just kind of see, you know, kind of what 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 captures mm -hmm. your eye. Mm -hmm. My father-in-law told me this. Um, he said, if you ever decide that you are the last say in men's fashion, you need to get out of the business because you don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Because everybody's tastes are so different. And you know, some things that I would match up to a suit or a pair of pants is not something else that somebody would match. But I know the rules. All my guys know the <laughs> rules and how to kind of coordinate. And then you just kind of pick your colors and what. So what are the rules? You. So for example, like on sport coats, that's probably yeah. the biggest thing right now because uh, kids going to prom like to wear sport coats right now. Okay. Especially plaid. Plaid is the I've plaid. Been yeah, some there's plaid a lot here. of plaid, right? Yes. And, and how does I mean this does this feels like a rule break? <laughs> but what do you I You would know? think that, right? Typically with a plaid, you want to do a solid color tie. You don't want to do another plaid tie with it. Yeah. But the but the bending rule to that is the floral tie so you could do a floral tie with a plaid amazing so and that looks like a skinny tie is that, that is a skinny tie back in skinny ties are in however we also carry extra long ties which are about six inches longer and there's two reasons why yeah you're taller or you have a bigger neck so you have to have more tie to wrap around <laughs> But they are a little wider at the bottom because okay. you just can't have this big, big long strip of tie. So, so when yeah. you tie the ties, it's supposed to hit right about the belt? Right above the belt loop, right okay. above the belt buckle. Okay. Yes. So if it's up or lower, you got to redo. You got to redo. Thing. Yep. And it is a double Windsor the way to go? Yeah, it depends single? on the tie. That's going to be a single because you, typically with, with skinny ties, it's a single Windsor. Okay. But when you do an extra long, you can do the double Windsor knot like, like this. But then you have the extra tail in the back. Yeah. So it goes through the loop because you have an extra long tie instead hmm. of this little. Do you guys have tie tying classes? You know YouTube. what? I wa YouTube's great. <laughs> I always refer people to that. But yesterday we had a, we had a young man in here late shopping for prom and I tied the tie on his neck and he just left it that way. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> so, good idea. Yep. So is this just a match up with if you got a date? It, it, that is. The, the, the hardest thing to do is uh, people always come in with pictures from Pinterest or yeah. a picture of the dress or whatever. And pictures are very, very, they are very not true to color. Oh. So it is hard to kind of match a, a dress or a tie mm -hmm. up to that. Mm -hmm. But when you wander back to ties, you know, you can... There's, there's all sorts of arrangements now. You can do go solids and do the solid patterns or the stripes and plaids. There's still a lot of floral Holy going cow. on. Yep. You've got ties all over the place. All huh? over the place. Yeah. What about suspenders? I'm looking at this. Is this in or out? You know, suspenders are a, are a very select choice uh, customer. I don't want to say it's out. Um, you know, you would think suspenders, well, the main idea for suspenders is holding up your britches, right? Yeah, but not, not, not necessarily. So. It's kind of a look now. So it, it kind of depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. I don't sell a lot, but there are individuals that do like the, the bow ties and the suspender look, yes, especially during prom. Because sometimes oh, they don't yeah. want to wear a whole suit. Okay. They just, just want to do Levi's, a t shirt, and show off the suspenders. Because otherwise, you'd cover them up with your, your suit coat. You so. get a lot of moms in here? A lot of moms, um, <laughs> especially alone. Because oh. they, they come in here and they're like, I know what you're looking for. You're looking for a tie to match the girl's dress okay. because your son is in class right now and you can't get him out to. Yeah. She says, yes, I have a picture right here. Oh, goodness. So, I always tell this story, though, when I, when I have a, a young man and a mom in here. In the old store, we had, a, we had a young man come in and I said, he said he needed a suit for prom, got it all done. And I said, okay, do you need the tie to match? And he says, no. And you know how girls and guys ask each other to the dance, they oh, yeah, you know, yeah. do these elaborate things. Sometimes get in trouble. Yes. <laughs> so this girl answered the young man with the tie that matched 
the suit or her dress already. So Not he didn't even have to look for the tie. Now that's something to remember. If you got <laughs> anything from here, that. you remember to take the tie when you say yes to the dance, then you don't have to worry. Yeah, that's right. And it takes tons of pressure off of me trying to <laughs> match a, do you know what rose blush color is? Oh, you know what I mean? Cow. So it's, it's a little and rough. And if you're a girl who wants it to match, yeah. take the steps. Yep. I love that. So. That was that awesome. Is awesome. Uh, why doesn't there be a uh, smart company that puts formals together and you buy the formal and a tie comes with it? That's a great exactly. idea. Exactly. And, and the flower. Uh, yeah. And the corsage, floral. right? Sticker floral. Yeah. Yeah. Sticker yeah. floral. Yeah. Yeah. Send people so there I have something time. curious. I'm not supposed yes. to be talking a lot. Show us some of the wild stuff. What's right. the stuff that's oh, happening man. that well, us people go, what uh, in the Again, what? It, is, it is definitely going to be the plaids, right? So... With if these, I could pull off a plaid, I would, I would like that. Well, do you remember um, vests in the old days, kind of mm -hmm. kind of bu yes. buttoned up to here, right? Well, they're a little different. They're a little U-shaped now, and they're double-breasted. What the heck? That's vest, like the 1910s, right? Uh-huh. Right? Kind of when you walk, sweet. Kind of when you wore the pocket watch, you know, down oh, here yeah. with the chain and... So they, you know, it's it, they they're just trying new stuff all the time. Just, wow! But yeah, definitely everybody. And the other thing is plaid pants. Yes. If you don't want to do a suit and you just want to do plaid pants, it's like are are we going? Then you're getting a little golfing. Then you're getting a little out there, right? Wow. And is this popular, or this is what the kids are doing? Yes, because oh, they're slim crazy pictures. and they're stretchy. Ah, oh my goodness. they're like women's yoga pants. So they're I don't know they're if I'm super okay with this. I know the men finally figured it out that you know oh we goodness. want to be we want to be Comfy comfortable too. too. That is amazing. So, hey, there's nothing wrong with stretchy pants. I know. Yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. But again, you know, you gotta. It, again, that's another. Some people come in and they're like, nope. And then other people are like, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Is so this flat front or pleat? Always flat front. I don't have a pleated pant in the store anymore. So if I own pleated pants, I probably should lose them. You, you should probably upgrade. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I may have had that commented to me before. But you have shoes too. Yes. Let's go see those yeah, sweet we have shoes. shoes. Oh, we can't miss this. Oh, yeah. Those we socks. Stance socks. That's the other thing. The new look is short pants. So you want pants? Yeah. So if you look at my gut, yeah, see that right there. So you got to have short pants to show off the socks, right? So how do you buy those? What, is there our sizes? tailor does it. Oh, your tailor does so it. So our tailor can make them whatever, whatever length you want. But that oh is the new God. look: is short and tight around the ankle. Oh, so that is I the look, old. isn't it? And then you got to do no show sock. You got it. Yeah, no show or those very colorful socks. Oh so, yeah. So we just got a whole shipment of Cole Haan shoes in, but I, I wanted, before we get to socks, I just wanted to talk about stretchy shirts too, right? So like men I said, have finally men have finally, the, what finally women have figured known out the Dude, stretchy. I can keep going to the buffets. <laughs> Tommy. So yeah. I'm still in. <laughs> <laughs> so Those again, are sweet. we do a lot of missionaries and, you know, missionaries can wear blue shirts now in some areas. So we've, we've tried to tried to tackle You're all of sure it. You're sure about that? I am. Are you I just am, trying to I sell blue shirts? I am fairly sure. Yes. <laughs> See, like I talked to a lot of missionaries. Yeah. Short sleeve blue shirts. Yeah. Amazing. It reminds you kind of a vivant salesperson. Yeah, type, totally, man. Right? Yeah. Man, stretchies. I guess the idea is it's it's not so quite intimidating as a as a white shirt can be in some areas. So. I saw somebody come in with an exchange. And they yes. said, this is the wrong size. You said, oh, well, here's the right size. Yep. And you just handed them the shirt and they walked, walked out the out. door. Yep. Pretty easy. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah. They, as long as, it, now here's the change. Here's another change with men's clothing. You'll notice the sizing on them. So they've gone from small, medium, large, extra large. What do the traditional white shirts have in them? Do you remember? The next size, Uh-huh, right? the next size. Yeah. So you have the 18 and a half, 34, 35, yeah. or 32, 33. So they've gone to a sport sizing in the stretchy shirts. Hmm. Small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X. And all the sleeve lengths are the same. Now, a friend so. of mine uh, is, is looking for short and husky. Uh, okay. <laughs> a friend we don't know him. <laughs> but I haven't seen many sizes for pants or shirts that are kind of like... 
Well, shorter. Uh, we, we we can. I have I have three tailors that that do amazing work. So we can. We have tapered shirts before. Uh, a lot of guys come in and they don't like how blousey the arm is, so they yeah. want it tapered all the way up. And yeah. So shirts and pants custom. Yeah, and suits. And that's expensive. It's not too bad. Um, you know, to taper a taper a pan, I think is twenty seven dollars is what they charge. That could be the coat. It could be twenty five for the for the pant. But fairly reasonable. Yeah, yeah fairly that reasonable. Is a, mm -hmm. That's a big ask to it is. bring it in and to it is. shorten it up. It is. Come on back to custom shoes. Custom is what I'm talking about. What? Uh, My friend has a custom body. Yeah, that's, well, all of us have a little <laughs> Wait, bit of. Wait, are we going to show custom. us the new shoes that came in? Oh yes, here, they're well, right here too. They yeah. are the ones with the new tennis shoe, tennis shoe sole on the oh, bottom. Yeah. So it's a lot of flex in there, a lot of cushion, a lot of comfort. Um, some come with white soles, um, some come with a darker sole, so we got a mixture. Can we a missionary wear those? So that's a great question. Um, the white sole is a little questionable. Mm. Depends on the mission president. So some are perfectly fine with it, some have a little. So I double ordered on these, but I single ordered on the white. But our sister store down in St. George, every missionary down there has white soles on. So it must really? be the mission president that doesn't, doesn't have too much of a problem opinion, with that. Huh? Yep. So wandering over to, to shoes, um, somebody always comes in and asks me about supply chain issues. Oh yeah. And, and how are we doing? How are we keeping our product in? So we do manufacture a lot of our own clothing, our suits, shirts, ties, slacks. Um, shoes right now are the roughest thing to get. Mm. Um, for a period of time there, for about a year and a half, we had nothing. The problem with that is now they're all coming at the same time. So oh, this boy. past week and a half, we've been receiving Johnson & Murphy, Cole Haan, Florsheim, all at the same time. So now you're just overstocked and everything. Mm. The one thing with supply chain issues is now, instead of going to clothing shows and buying and having it delivered, you're having to pre-book out a year in advance to get wow. product. Holy cow. So it's making things a little bit more difficult. Hmm. So, What's your best selling shoe that people love the most right now? Right now it's uh, because we haven't had the Cole Haan yet, but it's definitely the Johnson & Murphy. That is one of them. That That's is called the Lancer. Shoe. That's got a neoprene booty in it, which you oh, can see, sure it's stretchy booty. It's kind of misleading because it has shoelaces, but you don't necessarily need them because it's got that booty in there. Ooh. I think the shoelaces are more for looks. Show. Yeah. This is a family show. You can't see yeah, booty too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those are waterproof. Um, and so, yeah, those have done really well for us. So mm. we've been selling well, I mean, a lot. these are looking all te more tennis shoey all the time, aren't they? They are I going like more it. tennis shoey, more, more relaxed look. But, and, and we do a lot of those, but we also do the classic stuff. Uh, we've been selling a lot of dress boots lately. So the, yeah. my guys love these. Again, mm -hmm. waterproof. Um, you lace them up, and then you just zipper them off, and you don't have to untie them. And just, those are sweet. I don't know if that's lazy or if it's just, just a look. But. At what age can you stop pulling that off? <laughs> Well, you know, we could put Velcro on all the shoes again, like kangaroos back in the day. I, I don't do know if anybody in the 80s remember those, but anyway, but yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun helping people with their events. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there, there's, there's always the positives and then there's, you know, the, 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 the funerals and those type of things that we deal with and, and do with. And, you know, you just you you see people come in here a little frazzled, and you just want to want to help them the best way that you can. So, That's good. and then there's people that come in here that are just, you know, wedding and and just excited and and prom and and missions and 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 just you know whatever event they have, and we're just we're happy to ex to help them and and help them keep that excitement in their life. So, so that makes me think of formal wear. Yeah. What, what about tuxedo? So we do not do tuxedos. Um, and the reason why is doing tuxedo rentals takes a lot of manpower. Mm -hmm. And right now, manpower is hard to find. So when you think about a tuxedo, you have to have this large amount of inventory. Yeah. You get them all sized. You have to send it to your tailor to get it tailored. Mm -hmm. and then you send it off, and then they bring it back. Well, when they bring it back, you have to send it to get dry cleaned. Yeah. You have to yeah. take the tailoring out and then restock it to get it all done. It, it's just a lot of manpower. So... 
it, that luxury is uh, is not ready made available right now, so I, I haven't got that far yet. I haven't but seen it's a lot of work. It, tuxedos are kind of it, it, going it's down a roller anyway, coaster. Huh? Yeah. Um, you know, during COVID, people were just doing what they could. So <laughs> they were they were uh, uh, tuxedo rentals were very very minimal. So they were doing suits and ties and sport coats. Okay. And I think now that that uh, that wave of COVID is kind of over, you can see a little bit of increase in tuxedo sales. But Got it. for us, especially you know back in the day when I went to prom, you wore a tux, yeah, right? But yeah. now now you don't do that. It's Jeremy wore like a powder blue tux. I yeah, think, well. Powder blue, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dumb or dumber, yeah. which one? <laughs> Orange or, or blue? <laughs> or blue, that's right, <laughs> yeah. So, so how far in advance, if, if I've got a, an event coming up and I know I gotta come in and get a special size and right. I want to fit right, do I need a week or a month to plan ahead? It is always better to be, the further in, in advance you can do it, the better. Um, you know, like I said, we have three tailors, um, but you know, I love people to death, but we procrastinate, oh, yeah. we all do. And so it has overwhelmed my tailors. Um, in fact, um, you know, and especially when they decide, and bless their hearts, they, they deserve all the credit in the world, but if they decide to take all three of them to take the same week off at the same time, <laughs> Makes it a little hectic, and yeah. that's what that was. Spring break, they all had to mm -hmm. take a little bit of a break, right? But but the sooner the better. Um, typically, alterations are a, a week and a half, two weeks. Oh, not bad. We can do things a little bit quicker, but we like to give our tailors a little bit of time uh, to to get caught up. We've we've had incredible business from the community when we we were a little nervous moving over here because you know we we've been at the old place for so long. Yeah. And uh, and don't get me wrong, I worked in that building for 15 years, and it was it was part of the family. It yeah. was like losing a kid. And now that we're over here, though, and and things have changed a little bit, um, it's uh, traffic has uh, increased dramatically. So we're you know three to four times the traffic now that we were over there. Wow, that's so good. Way parking, easier to get to. Yeah. Yeah, parking. parking's a little different over here. Mm -hmm. 25th Street's a little more hectic to navigate, but. But it's still it's it's good. We've we've done well. That's so, awesome. Any yeah. plans to expand, do different things? You know, you? we're 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 talking about doing different things. Um, you know, expanding in the in the southeast Idaho area. You know, maybe maybe taking a look at Pocatello, see what they have to offer. Yeah. We get a lot of people up here from from uh, Pocatello and and uh, Incom and, and Marsh Valley and those areas. Mm -hmm. and, and I know in Pocatello, there's not a lot of uh, men's, you know, better dressed retail down there. Mm. So we've had people in all the time, especially with the new temple being de developed down in that area, mm -hmm. they've asked if we've, we've considered it. And, and again, yes, it's just finding manpower. Yeah. It's, it's just finding good people to, mm -hmm. to man it and, and run it. I think the one of the reasons why people come back to Farrell's so much is, yeah, you could probably find a suit online or go to the big box stores, but we have a little bit more personal care that we try to put out to those individuals. And, and we hear it from people all the time just saying thanks so much for taking care of us and being being honest and upfront with us and, and trying to get things done for us. So. And you guys make your stuff. I mean, it's made here. It's not shipped overseas. You yeah. make it here. We, we, we are in a coalition of, of uh, some independent stores that are through the the West um, from here, Utah and uh, uh, Mesa, Arizona. Mm. And so we, we, we get together to have a little bit better buying power. And uh, our warehouse is down in Springfield, uh, Springville, uh, Utah. Mm -hmm. And so it makes things uh, shipping back and forth to get it here quickly if we need it. So yeah, that's great. Yeah. Is there anything yeah. we missed? That we should see. I don't know. We, we like, you know, if anybody has any questions, you know, we feel feel free to call us and ask us any questions. We, you know, we just get it, it, some people call all the time and say, "Hey, I got a dumb question." No question is a dumb question. If we don't know what it is or we can't figure out what it is, well, uh, for example, somebody called in and said, "Hey, do you guys carry any braces?" Hmm. You know what braces are? Uh... It's old terminology. Braces, uh, something to your we hold your shoe, no. shirt down. You're close. It pulls your pants up. Pants up. Huh? It's suspenders. Oh, <laughs> that's another term for suspenders. So interesting. Every once in a while, you get somebody that uses a terminology that you haven't heard before, yeah. and so we kind of do some research and find out about it. But yeah, yeah, we just 
we love to help people, um, especially young guys when they're, you know, eight, nine-year-old kids when they come in to get their first suit. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Well, some kid did come in, and I yeah. suggested the melon-colored suit, yeah. and he did not think that was <laughs> he, he, he a was He was going idea. straight black. He was very, <laughs> very classic. Classic yeah. kid. Yeah. Well, that's so, awesome. So you're going to have another generation coming in behind you? Um, that's a good question. He's, uh, Two he's, more? He's, uh, he's, uh, he's considering it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, <laughs> I'm the old man here now. Yeah, holy so cow. So I, uh, you know, I have, uh, I have uh, mixed opinions about different fashion. Yeah. But these young guys that like to help out, um, you know, with proms and missionaries mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, they have a little bit fresher eye than me. So when I go shopping for clothes at markets and stuff, I always, you know, talk to them and say, hey, what's your opinion about this or this? Yeah. And they, they give me, you know, really good feedback, so. Good place just to come in and buy a quick gift for somebody yeah, too, sure, right? Sure. I noticed these ties have countries and states on them and yeah. that's pretty cool. It's we do we do flags, we do lapel pins with the yeah. countries on them, wherever you're going. It's kind of funny because you would think that those would only be for missionaries, mm -hmm. but I've had a few state representatives in here oh, buying yeah. U.S. flag and mm -hmm. Idaho flag pins and and ties and that sort of thing. So we're not strictly just missionaries. We do a lot of missionaries, yes, but we do a lot of weddings and, and prom and, and all sorts of things. Well, so. Tommy loves his stretchy suit. Yes, he stretchy stretchy is good. Suit. Yep. Just yeah. need to look good. Yeah. Yeah. Come into Farrell's, they'll, they'll set you up. That's right. Well, and if you haven't right. ever t looked at the new tech of, of suits, if you just got your old style, yeah. you are missing out on a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, the, the, that's the, other, the textiles and the fabrics are changing really quick. So it's definitely, it's the, stretchy is the new thing. So I can't blame them. Well, I tell everybody, you know, whatever I put on, I make it look slim because it's, it doesn't matter whether it's slim or not. It's, I stretch it out. That's so, good. Well, yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. Is there anything we, we missed? I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, just feel free to come in and ask questions. Great. Um, what are the hours? The hours are 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday. Uh -huh. um, we do have a website, ferrellsclothing.com. You awesome. can go on there and see some things. I don't uh, update it as much as I need to, but it's there. People like to window shop and look there first, and then yeah. they, they come in and they say, oh, I want the Drymax socks. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, perfect. That, hap that happens, you know, two, three times a day. So. Awesome. Fun. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah. yeah. Get in here, Ferrells. What's the address again? 3194 South, 25th East. So Hit it's Road. Hit Road, yeah. yeah. If I say 25th, nobody knows, but yeah. Hit Road. Yeah. And I always say right across the street from Chick-fil-A. Because oh, everybody yeah. knows where Chick-fil-A is. Crazy. And you've got some relatives there. So I do. Like, yeah. I have a daughter working there. <laughs> yep. That's fantastic. Yep. All right, you guys, come check it out. Again, it's Farrell's Fine Clothing. Super easy to find. Great. It's amazing. Come in here and browse. You're going to find some really, really cool stuff. And uh, come see the Tooler slash Rights. Yes. It's awesome. Yep. All right, well, this All has right. been Jessica Carton. And Jeremy Manwaring. With Murdoch Manwaring Company, your nosy neighbors keeping you in the in know. The, the nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. Nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. The nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. Nosy neighbors keeping you in the know. So the nosy neighbors keeping, keeping you, you in, in the, the know. know. The nosy neighbors are going to keep you in, in the, the know. know.